Okay, so in this video, we're going to install Bootstrap. And there's, like I said earlier, there's a few different ways that you can install and use Bootstrap. In this way, we're in this video, we're going to talk about linking to it. So head over to getbootstrap.com, click on this getting started thing, or you can just go up to documentation. They go to the same place. And you get this introduction section. And basically, to use Bootstrap, you need two things, really. You need a reference to the Bootstrap CSS right here. And you need a reference to several JavaScript files that Bootstrap requires, right? So you can see right here, here's the tag that goes in your head document of your HTML file. And this is just sort of linking to Bootstrap. It's pointing to a CDN, which is a content delivery network. And this is sort of the, the popular way to do it these days. Hardly, I mean, I can envision a reason why you would download Bootstrap and host it yourself. But for the most part, you're just going to want to link to the CDN. It's better for, you know, a lot of different reasons. And it's just sort of the convention. So you can see the path to this actual file, this bootstrap.min.css is this thing right here. And so you can just paste this into any HTML page you have, and you're halfway to using Bootstrap. The other half is, like I said, JavaScript. Bootstrap requires JavaScript for several different things uh, in order to, to work correctly. And if you're interested in what those things are, you can come down here and click this little thing, and it shows you all of the components that use JavaScript in Bootstrap. So, you know, if an alert pops up, you require JavaScript for that. Buttons that sort of change color when you click on them, they need JavaScript for that. A carousel, we'll look at this. Uh, drop downs for menus, modals, nav bar things that drop down, tool tips and popovers, and this uh, scroll speed thing. I'm not really sure what that is. So, you know, it's not a huge list, but these are sort of important things that require JavaScript. So you're going to be, you're going to want to make sure that you have JavaScript sort of referenced on your HTML page. And to do that, you can link to the CDNs or you can download the compiled one. We'll talk about that later. And it's the same thing. It's three of them here. And these are three links to three CDNs, content delivery networks. It looks like this is jQuery because you need jQuery. This is Cloudflare, a popular CDN. And this is the Bootstrap CDN, uh, which I think this is, this, is a boot, uh, this is a JavaScript file that Bootstrap created themselves, I think. But not, not that important. The important thing is that these three tags go at the bottom of your web page, right, sort of right before the closing body tag. And you can read that right here. It says that. So uh, you don't have to memorize all this stuff later on when you come to use this, you can just give this a quick read and see exactly what you need to do. So that's it. You need to copy the CSS and you need to copy the JavaScript. Strictly speaking, you can get away with that. An easier thing to do is just to use their starter template. They have this starter template HTML file, and that's what we're going to do. And you can see right here, it has that link to the CSS. And then down here, right above the body, closing body tag, it has those three JavaScript files. Another thing this has is the viewport. Viewports are used for mobile phones, right? Cell phones, mobile first design. And in order for your bootstrapped web page to look good on a phone, it needs this tag. So that's very cool. Also very cool, that's basically all you have to do to use Bootstrap on a cell phone, mobile phone. Now there's a couple of little things you might have to tweak here and there to make sure it looks particularly good, and we'll talk about all that later. But really, this is one of the great, huge reasons why Bootstrap is so popular, because mobile-first design is hard. But with Bootstrap, you just slap in this, this tag, and it just works right out of the box. So that's pretty amazing, and, and that's cool. One other thing is this doc type. Now I've been building websites for 25 years. I hardly ever put this doc type tag on my web pages just out of habit because it's one of those tags that doesn't really do anything and you just sort of forget about it sometimes. But with Bootstrap, you have to have it. If you don't put this on there, weird things can happen. And you can read about that down here. It says exactly that. So <laughs> uh, make sure that's on there which is just another reason why we should use this starter template. So let's go ahead and just click here to copy this, copy this to our notepad or whatever. And I'm going to open up sublime text and create file new file, and then just right click and click paste. 
and that'll just paste all that stuff right in there. And you can see yeah, there's the viewport, here's the, the style sheet reference, and then down here are the three JavaScripts. I've expanded this text really big so you can see it easier. Yours is gonna be smaller, but that's cool. So next we wanna save this file as a .html file. All web pages end in .html. And we can save it anywhere. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. So we can click Save As, and then just type page and make sure this dot or this HTML is selected from the list. And you can see there's several versions of HTML. So pick the, the one highest up, right? It's just this flat out HTML one right there. And then just click save. I've already saved it. Well, actually I didn't, so let's save it. And you're good to go. Now, like I said, I saved this to my desktop. So I can navigate to my desktop. And now here I see it right here. I use Chrome, the web browser, so it's a little Chrome icon. If you use Firefox or some other web browser, you'll get a different icon. But now you can just click this and boom, we see this hello world. And if we right click and view the page source, we see in fact, yep, here it is. Here's the stuff we just pasted in there. Very cool. And that's all it is. Bootstrap is now installed on this web page and completely ready to use. I mean, it took 20 seconds to do that, which is really amazing. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about actually compiling and downloading Bootstrap if you're interested in doing that. I don't recommend you ever do that, but some people will want to do that for whatever reason. And we'll talk about that in the next video.